up guys, Poison here, and I'm back, and today's just be a quick little phone video, it's not Poison Thoughts. Um, generally when there's sales, I don't like to talk about them because there's so many sales, especially on PC, on Steam. That's the beauty about Steam, you have to pay maybe around a thousand for a decent computer that can run games, but after you pay it off, Steam has so many, so many sales, it's worth it. But I'm not just here to talk about Steam sales, I'm here to talk about sales for Xbox 360 and for, um, Steam. So, first off, extremely relevant. Today, I finally finished Gears of War 2. That means Monday, I'm starting off on Duke Nukem Forever. Well, currently on the Xbox Live uh, Marketplace, for $6.59, you can purchase Gears of War 2. So, if you want to get Gears of War 2, you know, now would be a time for $6.59, normally $20. That's if you have Xbox Live Gold. Which, if you have an Xbox, I assume you have gold. Um, if you don't have an Xbox and you don't have gold, definitely go pick it up because you get free games every month. I know this month is, um, this month is actually... Mirror's Edge and Forza Horizon, so definitely go pick up Xbox Live Gold, that's just for 360, Xbox One gets some other game, and uh, Assassin's Creed. But currently right now, Gears of War 2, $6.59 on Xbox Live if you have a gold account. Gears of War 1, you can pick up for $4.94, once again, Xbox 360 only if you have gold. Usual price is $15, uh, Gears of War 3 can be picked up for $6.59, usually $20, um, Gears of War 2 All Friends Collection. Now, this is essentially one single-player campaign and 19 downloadable maps for multiplayer. I'm pretty sure multiplayer is dead, but if it's not, you can pick it up for $5. Usual price, 10 Excuse me. Gears of War 3 Season Pass, you can pick up for $9.89, usually $30. That's good. Let's see. Um, you get a new campaign, Horde, and B... You get... The Gears 3 Season Passenger takes a brand new campaign, horde, beast, and multiplayer content, including new playable characters. So, $10, that's actually kind of good. I'm probably going to pick that up later. Um, I think the sale ends Monday, actually, so definitely pick this up soon. And then, Gears of War Judgment uh, VIP Pass, which uh, serves as your pre-order for two game mode add-on packs, six total multiplayer maps, and two new modes, and provides instant access to nine exclusive skins and special VIP-only playlists, which grant double XP. And you'll get early access to upcoming multiplayer maps. Do not download either game add-on if you purchase the VIP se Season Pass to avoid being charged twice. So, the VIP Pass for Gears of War Judgment is actually for $10, usual $20. So, that's all that I have to say for Xbox. Once again, I don't do, um, I don't do sales or videos when sales happen, only if it catches my eye. Now, we're moving on to Steam, and this one really caught my eye, and I did purchase something off of it. So, right now, because of Call of Duty XP 2016, you can pick up Black Ops 3, just a normal game, for $30, usual $60. You can pick up Call of Duty Infinite Warfare for $60, that's not a sale. You can pick up Advanced Warfare Gold Edition for $30, usually $50. Um, includes bonus content, EXO Zombies, and four multiplayer maps and more. Call of Duty Definitive Collection. Now, this is the big one. So, the usual price is $400. You can pick it up for $200 right now. And the Definitive Collection comes with Call of Duty... Call of Duty United Offensive, Call of Duty 2, Modern Warfare 1, World at War, Modern Warfare 2, both DLCs, Black Ops, and Black Ops Mac Edition, every DLC for Black Ops, Modern Warfare 3 and all its DLC, Black Ops 2 and all its DLC as well, plus the New Town Zombies map, and the Flag Collection, and the um, Personalization Pack, and you also get Call of Duty Ghosts, you get the Extra Slots Pack, you get all DLC, including the characters and actual maps. And you get all the customizable gear, like the customizable guns and stuff. And the Snoop Dogg voice pack, let's not forget about that. Usual price, if you are to buy everything alone, is $556.40. Cost of the package, $200, which is saving you $356.41. But if you buy the Definitive Collection normally, it's $400. Right now it's for $200. That's literally every Call of Duty game. You can pick up Call of Duty Ghosts for $19.79, no DLC, just Ghosts. Black Ops 2, $19.79 as well, no DLC. But, actually, let's go back to Ghosts. Now, if you want to purchase the complete bundle for Call of Duty Ghosts, which includes all DLC, it is $90. Okay, that includes all DLC plus Ghosts. Black Ops 3, I'm assuming it's going to be $90 as well. Uh, Black Ops 2 bundle, franchise bundle, zombie, definitive, season pass, Black Ops. So, Black Ops 2 bundle, I assume, is going to be all DLC. Yep, just the DLC, no weapon customization, is going to be $50, so not bad. Uh, let's see, we'll talk more about that in a second. 
Uh, Modern Warfare 3 is the one game I did pick up today. I picked it up for $45, and that includes all DLC, so that's actually really good. I do love Modern Warfare 3. Black Ops 1, normally $20. You can pick up the Black Ops 1 ROW for about $40, or you can pick up the Black Ops Franchise Pack for $80, which includes Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, and all DLC for both games, including weapon customization. That's not bad. This isn't all Call of Duty, let me just say. Uh, I'm just going through like the major sales. Modern Warfare 2 could be picked up for $10, or if you want the bundle for all the DLC in Modern Warfare 2, it's $22.50, or you could pay $70 and purchase Modern Warfare 1, 2, and 3, including all DLC. World at War is for $10 right now, and World, at, World War 2 bundle ROW is for $30.14. I don't see any DLC for World at War, but it's $10. I assume it comes with DLC or something. I'm not sure. Modern Warfare 1 could be picked up for $10 also, just like World at War. Uh, no DLC, so just $10. I assume the DLC comes with it. You can pick up Call of Duty United Offensive for $10, as well as Call of Duty 2, which is also $10. And Call of Duty originally released in October 13, 2016, just Call of Duty. So the first one, $15. Call of Duty World War 2 pack for $30.14. Call of Duty War Chest, which includes United Offensive, Call of Duty, and Call of Duty 2 for $15. Call of Duty Modern Warfare Franchise Bundle for $70. And once again, that comes with Modern Warfare 1, 2, and 3, plus all DLC. The Black Ops Franchise, which comes with Black Ops 1 and 2. I don't think it comes with 3, does it? No. Or does it? Let me see. It's not showing it, but there's three different soldiers on the cover, so I would assume it's all three. Black Ops 2. So Black Ops 2 plus all Black Ops 1 and 2, all DLC for 80. And then the major one I'm seeing, Call of Duty Complete Zombies Experience, which is Black Ops 2, World at War, and Black Ops 1, plus all the downloads, including weapon skins that might be zombie related. You can pick it up for $90, usually $180. So that's not bad. Um, the price alone would be 145 Well, the price alone of price of individual products would be $145.03, which saves you about $35. Alright, so it's saying here that the price of individual products would be $145, usually $180, but that might also be because certain DLC is cut in half, so usual 180 let's just say. Now, that's not all we're talking about. There's also a huge sale on shoot 'em up games, or shoot 'em up sale. If you don't know what shoot 'em ups are, it's games like Death Smiles, um, side scrolling games like um, Metal Slug. I'm not sure if Metal Slug's here, so don't hold that against me. But games like Death Smiles, Raiden, Raiden, or whatever you're gonna say. Um, Death Smiles, let's see. Uh, there's a bunch of games I saw. Essentially, bullet hell shooters are also on sale. Save. You know, there's games for as cheap as two dollars. Scene Morda. I've never heard of that game. Let's see what it is. A horizontal shoot 'em up game. So bullet hell shooters are on sale. Major sale too. And I would definitely recommend checking out Steam because, seriously, if you like bullet hell shooters, like I love Death Smiles. I love um, Biohazard or Beat Hazard. I love Beat Hazard. I love um, Death Smiles, Sky Force. All these games are seriously on sale, and you guys have to go check them out. Renegade Ops, Gunstar Heroes, Enter the Gungeon. Let's see. Let's go to, is there like most popular? Let's see. The highest price. The highest price for a bullet hell shooter right now is $50 usually, and it's going for $25. The lowest price is, there's some free-to-play ones. A bunch of free-to-plays. $19, but... Seriously, if you like bullet hell shooters, which if you don't know, look up like Death Smiles. That's what a bullet hell shooter is. Or Beat Hazard. Those are bullet hell shooters and they're seriously on sale. It looks like every bullet hell shooter is on sale. So I would highly recommend if you like these type of games. Like the traditional Japanese Raiden games. Like if you know what those are. Like the ones where you're either at the bottom and you have to shoot upwards. And you have to avoid all the bullets. Or you're going sideways avoiding all the bullets. That's what a bullet hell shooter is. Once again, go look up Death Smiles, go look up Beat Hazard. Those games are majorly on sale right now. And I would love to pick them up, but I already bought Modern Warfare 3, so it's kind of like, eh. But yeah, seriously, huge sale, Call of Duty, bullet hell shooters, and the Gears of War franchise. Go check those out. If you have an Xbox 360, 
and even Xbox One, because if you purchase it on 360, you get it on the One. And if you have Steam, I would highly recommend you go try this, because I believe these all end Monday. So for shoot 'em up sale, offer ends Monday at 10 a.m., same as the Call of Duty thing. As for Xbox 360, the Gears of War franchise, I'm not sure when it ends, but you want to hop on it quickly. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, don't expect a lot of videos like this where I talk about sales, because seriously, if I were to talk about Steam sales, I'd be here forever, because there's a sale every day. But when it's a major sale like this that I feel people need to know about, I will do them. So until next time, have an awesome day. Thank you for watching. Bye.